G'day team, welcome back to another episode of Drive and Dive. Here we are at the Omaru Airport Drags, March 2024. Group of us convoyed up from Dunedin. This was me racing my mate Ben, he's in his uh, VF SSV 375 Walkinshaw. He went really well on the day, I think he ran a 12.7. I ran a 13.9 on that. on it, put some uh, Goodyear Eagle F1 tyres. 13.9, sorry, 13.49. It had slightly more Four traction on the day, so it's went back here. He's Ross Forsyth in his R35 GTR. He's actually uh, just run a land speed record, and he's um, challenging for the um, for the record. He's looking at building a billet block. Give him a bit of a shout out here. He's um, Black Cat Racing on YouTube. I'll put a link in the uh, description so you guys can check out his channel. Very interesting, extremely knowledgeable man. Yeah, good yarns for him. Amazing what he's doing. Supra, up against Ross Forsyth's GDR. Doesn't that sound crisp? 11.07. Ross Forsyth's GDR. Another Dunedin boy here in the Laurel. This thing went really well. Lewis Sutton's R34 skyline. Lined up against Cody McKenzie's 92 Nissan Laurel. Trusty 25 debt. a Ferrari 360 Modena. Dreamed to be up when you were young. 13.46 from the one there with the Steve Hodge. And a 
13.67 for the Commodore. I always dreamed about racing a Ferrari, so that wish came true yesterday. Here's Sean and his Golf GTI. Man, the sink and launch is just so smooth on the gear changes with the DSG. I believe this was the um, Laurel from Dunedin. <laughs> Those boys have got a wicked laugh. So I'd run the first two runs, um, not even thinking to turn traction control off because I ran um, last time at Omaru in November with traction control off and um, this race here I actually finally turned it off, much to my detriment. First gear was just wheel spin all the way through and it was a lot longer than usual because I was just trying to get out of wheel spin, I probably should have changed it into second earlier. 12.58 there goes the Gavin Fowler in the 16 Club Sport and a 14.45 for uh, Brad. Club Sport was a beast though, so supercharged at least that one. This Corvette, I believe I heard it was around a thousand horsepower and it actually somewhat detuned it um, just to get traction. I think he was running sort of around 12s on the day. Monster everything traction issues. I used to have all the rail like that back in the day, 25 debt, cool cars. was pretty stroppy. I'd love to know how much horsepower he was running. I mean the whole day I was racing cars that were, um, I think that Ferrari was around 400 horsepower, he was probably the um, on the low side of it. A lot of them were sort of up to 600 horsepower, possibly more, so. Up against Brad Minson 05 Club Sport. Yeah this poor chap um, Lost a lot of fluid on the track later on the day. I don't know whether he blew, blew his gearbox or whatever the issue was, but we were down for a good 20 minutes or so while they cleaned it up. So yeah, I think that was probably the only failure on the day. Poor fella. This thing was an absolute monster. No idea what was in it, but um, man, it made the ground quake. It was loud. It had some big fat drag radials on the back of it. He sure knew how to point it too. That was a 13.8 that run. I don't know when we do. Yeah. Oh, the grudge matches now. 
At the last um, event in uh, November, I was running constant 13.7 to 13.8 over four runs. Consistency was within 0 0.009 seconds over four runs, so yeah, on this day I was just all over the place with consistency. But I hadn't really done any launch practice on these tyres, I just fitted them. Now we're back with consistency, 13.8. That's what it should be running all day. This is Jimmy's LS1 supercharged. It's got an LSA supercharger on it, LS1. Um, manual. This thing is a weapon. Traction was his issue. He was launching in second gear. Very, very stroppy car. Yeah, man, man, it sounds good. Nice run. A nice cam in it. Nice to see a VY and a, a VZ Club Sport side by side on the day. And we had Ben's, um, Ben's uh, Walkinshaw as well, the SSV. A nice wee line up from Dunedin. happy with my start on this one. <laughs> I started to started to get my starts a lot more dialed in than last time. I only had one uh, really bad bout of uh, loss of traction. Supra, whatever year it is, um, 2JZ in it, that thing went really well. They have a bloke James, um, 335 uh, BMW, I think he's running 500 odd horsepower or something, and um, he told me to have a go at flat shifting, so that's what that run was about. Definitely mess first to second up a wee bit, a bit too long, uh, the clutch in, but um, I'd like to try that again next time. I bet the clutch won't, but... So this Ford's actually got an LS1 in it. Man, it sounds good. I don't think there was a nicer noted vehicle than um, the GTR there on the day. I mean, I love my V8s, but that thing sounded pretty exceptional. Good to see it rev cut sound. Oh, if you like the video, guys, give us a like, subscribe, drop any positive comments. Appreciate it.
quickly as the next GDF.